Hi Cancer, welcome to your monthly reading for September 2016. I'm Renee Michelle and this is my channel here on YouTube, Chronicles of a Hoodoo Spirituals. I want to thank you guys for the likes, the shares, and the comments. Also, welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the club. Um, the $20 thank you special is only to the end of August. Take heed and hurry up and get your reading. Also, um, I want to thank y'all so much for... Um, the love and the support while I've been sick. Y'all stay supportive. Y'all hung in there, and I'm glad to be back. Uh, starting the third week of the starting the third week of September, okay, is it going to be? Um, it's like a free Monday, free birthday Mondays. If your birthday is the week of the weeklies, you'll be able to schedule a 30 minute meeting reading with me on only on that Monday. If you try and book on that Monday for next Thursday free, I'm gonna delete you. All right, so it's only on that free Monday. I can't have it going all through my schedule, all right? Uh, anyway, come on, Cancer. Let's see what's going on for you for this month. So what's going on beneath the surface? A need for balance, right? I say a need because it's not there yet. It's not there yet. Oh. Overly emotional, yes. That's what's going on beneath the surface this month, right? There's something that's making you stand sad, right? And, and you're supposed to be accessing it. But you're not, right, coming into this month. You're standing your ground on defending this sorrow and defending your heart. But you are not taking the time to, to see how this guy is, is looking at the card, looking at the past, looking at that past relationship, looking at that past friendship, looking at that past uh, situation, whatever it was that made you sad, and, and, and make an assessment. But you guys can't do that right now because I feel like you're too busy standing your ground. To, to, to have that chance to open up for healing, right? So coming into the first week of September, I see that uh, we have the Seven of Cups in reverse, right? So look at him. He's drinking. You have too many choices, right? So right now you feel like I have no choices at all, right? But one thing about this is this is lush. This is over extravagance. This is taking look two three four five six seven different liquors and drinking and, and not caring and this is a this week says to me that you're going to stop all this that you're going to pay more attention to what you're doing to your body and to yourself and the choices that are not coming to you are coming not coming to you because you're not balanced right and liquor and alcohol can make you unbalanced the nine of cups is getting your wish right so you're getting your wish some abuse is going to end, right? Maybe it's the abuse of this liquor situation. Maybe it's abuse of drugs. Maybe it's abuse from a certain individual. But some form of abuse, some form of, um, this is the devil card, some form of attack. I feel like some of you, uh, more than one person, is coming down on you for no particular reason, just because you are who you are. And I feel like during the middle of the week, you're going to get that wish, and these people are going to move on. They're going to have to. Um, at the beginning of the second week, we have the death card. So here's, here you are starting to know, right? Something has ended. And when this death card comes up, when I say it's ended, it's done, finished, for good, ever done. And that will make you balance. See his feet on the ground, the justice card, it will make you balance. It will make you feel better about you. Because there's new love coming in for you, right? This is like the Ace of Cups. This salmon has laid all these eggs and waiting for all these babies to come to show her new love. And there's new love coming. You just got to hold on to it. Next week after that, the third week, right? Your tide is turning up. 
And I know, Cancer, y'all been struggling for a while, but this is a this is a wheel of fortune. So there's good things coming your way. I don't feel anything else. I don't feel like it, if and when, right? I feel like it's coming, right? And you're fighting a battle that you can't win, right? I feel like, look, anyone that comes at you from now on, anyone that comes into your path, you're going to stop it straight up. You're not going to deal with this abuse anymore, right? So if they're trying to fit the shoes of the person that left, that was abusing you and they try to come in and do that they're, they're fighting a losing battle you're not going to have it you're not going to take it right because towards the end of the week i see that this here this week right this is a, a this is like the queen of swords right and you look at her face she's like look i'm nice if you nice but if you wrong i will hurt you look she's she's stirring the pot she's like i'm gonna hurt you i'll bring something on you that you don't like and th and that's the attitude that you have like look i'm not gonna let you take on me in a, a negative way. If you're positive with me, I'm positive with you, and that's how it's going to go. At the beginning of the fourth week, right? We have you communicating and hanging out with new people. I feel like this is new people. I feel like this is brand new people that you're socializing with. Normally, this card means sisters. Normally this, normally, this card means a level of communication towards business. But I don't feel like this is a business atmosphere. A lot of times, the Three of Cups, they say, is, oh, they're... Yeah, it's not the three of clubs. No, it's not. It's the three of coins. This is communication about business. This is communication. This is going to someone to see their point of view on what's going on in your world and your life. And if you look at this, it's going to be kind of like you making these new friendships and you have these new inputs, these new ideas on how to move forward, whether it's in business, whether it's in what courses to take to further your education. But this is all about you and how you expand yourself outside your mind, body, and spirit, meaning how you are going to go about your career or how you're going to go about choosing a career, if that be the case, right? So the strength card of right is coming into balance, right? And for me, it's always about the mouth. It's bringing the mouth into control, right? I, I don't even need it in reverse, but some of you, your mouth is still too much, right? Because the emotion comes up out of nowhere. You have to find out what you're angry about. You have to find out what is making you so upset deep down beneath the surface, right? And if you do that, you can move forward, right? Because this communication with the strength card, which is also going to give you strength, but also you need to control your mouth. And if you do that, you can move forward. This is normally the chariot card. But this is about you knowing where you want to go, knowing what you want to do, knowing how you want to do it, knowing where you want to put it, where, where it should be, where, where it's going to be, and where, where it's going to be for the future. This is about you taking control of your life and what you want to do with your life and how you want your life to proceed. And that's at the end of the third week. So we have the Ace of Fire, which is the Ace of Wands, which is a new creative idea, right? You're being creative, right? The gardener is, this is you being creative. This is the fruits of your labor. This is you planting new seeds and creativity for yourself. And you have a brand new one at the end of this month to start out with for the month of October. All right then, guys. Stay blessed and you know I love you, Cancer. Till next time. Peace.